So welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey Adam G and guys, look who I have we're here this time around. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy she she still made it in the nick of time. Please say hello to Miss Universe Pakistan 2023, Erica Robinson. Hello, Erica. Hi, how are you, Adam? So good to see you again. And uh, Mabuhay Philippines and hello El Salvador and hello to the universe. How are you? I'm doing fine. I'm having a blast covering you girls right now. So, you know, to be honest, wow, I'm so happy that you still made it. You know, how has, what took you so long to come here? Oh, it was a long, long journey. Um, it was basically a, a roller coaster ride, you can say, but I enjoyed every bit of it. There was some uh, visa problems, but um, you know, they say last but not the least. And here comes Pakistan. I'm so thankful and grateful to be here, to be among all the beautiful delegates, to experience this magical moment. And I'm just so, so happy and I feel so blessed for this opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, when I covered you, your arrival in the hotel, when you when you came, I, like, I can really sense that you were about to get teary-eyed with everything that uh, you went through. I was so emotional because as I stepped in the hotel, I, you know, the feeling was like, okay, this is it. Now I don't have to face any problems, any hurdles, and finally I can, you know, just focus what I've been doing, mm -hmm. what I've been trained for in the Philippines. So yeah, I, I was a bit emotional, a bit teary, and that was another... Um, accomplishment another victory that uh it was for me mm -hmm. so the whole time that you were uh wait for f the whole time you were waiting for everything to be sorted out you were just in the philippines i was in the philippines let me tell you the experience so um two of my sisters um they left uh quite early yes they were here they were here on the third um also excuse for, for my voice i have a really sore throat guys um anyway so when i was waiting i cannot believe that the whole universe helped me to be here. And I want to thank so many people. Dr. Gwen from the Philippines, she helped me out. Um, also, Sabrina, she's also from the Philippines, she helped me out. The Embassy of Colombia helped me out to get the transit visa. So, you know, also, meanwhile, I was waiting. I just learned a very, very strong message that every individual help uh, is so important and it's so important to help others even if you don't know that again you know philippines and it's just been a month and it feels like home they've been so protective so loving and i've learned so so much and now i finally have things to share stories to share and i'm so happy and so blessed with that i'm glad that you were able to uh experience that firsthand our bayanihan and friendly camaraderie spirit that's what we are known for that is right absolutely absolutely the warmth the welcome that i received from the philippines is was just unbelievable and i've i've, I've said it so many times i'll repeat it again and again for the rest of my life that philippines is my second home that is very touching hearing that as a filipino no trust me again I've, I've said this before as well as as you enter in a country as a tourist you know you want to get welcome and you want to get accepted but it's far more than that and home you, you know home is where you're comfortable where you can be yourself and after the competition you guys will definitely see me soon in the mm. philippines again yes so what the what has been the me, what has been the best parts of staying in the Philippines? Have you tried out our food? Oh yes. Also, I eat a lot, um, and this is for everyone who thinks that beauty queens don't eat. We do. And also, my nat national director Josh Hugin is a foodie, and you 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 know that as well. So I think I've almost tried everything, but my most favorite cuisine, um, the dishes would be adobo. Adobo, yes. Adobo. Our theme. Yes, I love halo halo, um, pan de sal. So these are the things that I love the most. <laughs> I'm suddenly craving for pan de sal oh, right you know, now. That's, that's, pan de sal is a thing that I tried as soon as I landed. That was the first thing that I tried in the Philippines, mm. pan de sal. And I absolutely loved it. Speaking of your national director, how is um, Mama Josh oh. as a national director? Uh, Josh. <sighs> I mean, I can't explain in two words. I just want to thank you for this opportunity for bringing the best version of myself. 
um, I know you were the one who saw that spark in me and who believed in me and who literally worked day and night, um, you know, to uh, bring, again, the best version of myself. He's, he was the one who captured it, that I know that you, you can bring a change. And uh, I knew what was my purpose in life. But again, you know, you just need someone to give you a push to make you things realize. Again, um, in my country, there are no training centers, right? And yes. um, I'm just blessed that I was landed in the powerhouse that is known uh, that is the philippines and i've been trained in the philippines and whatever you see whatever the way i talk the way i walk is all because of my national director and my amazing trainers you know <laughs> you you really are definitely in good hands so I as you for right here in your stint in miss universe i just realized how how groundbreaking your candidacy is the is at the moment you're the first that is right. Miss Universe Pakistan to ever grace this stage. And at the same time, I didn't realize you come from the minority in your country. You're a Christian. That All this right. time, I thought you were a Muslim. <laughs> no. Yeah. Erica Robin, you, you didn't figure it out? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. only now that I did some quite an extensive research about you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So coming from, again, let's talk about being the first ever Miss Universe Pakistan. Um, when I was a kid, um, I always looked up to Shishmita Sen. And I used to, you know, think about it, that why Pakistan is never on the list. Um, it's It took us 71 years. But again, you know, they say that it's never too late. Our time has just started. And I'm so thankful for the Miss Universe organization that there are no restrictions anymore. You know, with the age, uh, with uh, your status. The height, yes. The height, married. everything. Because that would have been unfair for pakistani women because you know it's just started and imagine if you know there was age limit or um you're uh if you're single or married that would have been uh you know a drawback for pakistani but now since there are no limitations imagine everyone can step in and participate mm -hmm. so it's finally our time uh to shine bright and show the whole universe that what a pakistani woman has to offer also coming from minority, as you mentioned, um, you know, when you come from a group that is uh, considered at, as others, I come from one person minorities of my country. And again, not just in Pakistan, but in the world and the whole universe, when, when you're part of a minority group, you're never given the center stage. Yes. So what I've learned is that you built your own stage. And Miss Universe organization has given me the opportunity, Philippines has given me the opportunity that I finally can build my stage, stand and show the whole universe that it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter uh, what background you belong from. If you have the purpose in life and potential, you can just have it all. How do you develop that purpose? Sorry? Based on your experience. How do you develop that purpose develop based that on your experience? So... If I talk about my experience, I started working when I was 16. Um, I don't come from a rich family. I've worked every single day of my life to be the best version of myself. There were many failures in my life that I, that I faced, that I um, also uh, some challenges I faced when I was soon crowned from Miss uh, Universe Pakistan. But I think I've collected the breadcrumbs of, from my past experiences. And now when I finally have a bread, have a title, it's now time to share it with others the ones who need it so i believe sharing my story and working towards my purpose can really really make a difference and i can really motivate other girls as well that just come out of your comfort zone don't worry if you know if you don't have any backup or if you don't have anyone to support you i came as an individual and now i think the whole universe is with me so you know you attract the energy when you have something good in you, when you have a purpose, you automatically connect with the people that will help you out. Yeah, it feels like, yeah, you manifest it. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, when you want, I, I can relate with you because if you really, because sometimes if you really want something, sometimes the whole universe conspires to make it happen yeah. with you. Paul, Paul, yeah, right. Like, if I talk about the Philippines, you know, last year, um, I want you to come to the Philippines as a tourist. And unfortunately, that did not work out. So do you see how, how the universe works? After a year, coming from Pakistan to Philippines, mm -hmm. from Philippines to El Salvador, wow. it's, it's just a, a, a journey that no one can ever imagine. Yes. Yeah, that, 
journey is meant solely for you. So with the next, so in, in the in the next few days, in the next few days of the competition, the preliminary competition, what would you like the whole world to know more about Pakistan, your country? Again, coming from a third world country where we're not really given a stage, uh, no one really talks about uh, Pakistani culture and no one really knows about it, right? Uh, I really want to share how... So, there's also one thing that is really common with the Philippines and Pakistan is that we're really loving and you know when it comes to hospitality we are re really really welcoming and that is something that I want to share with the world that uh, we have the best people and we welcome tourists we have the best mountain the best valley the best food um, so I just want to share the culture the norms the traditions we have and just show it to the world that uh, we're not less than anyone and we welcome everyone in our country. That is so great. That is so great to hear. So on that note, last few questions. Yes. You know, a lot of people are asking, can you, can you share a little sneak peek about how your gown will look like during the finals night? Oh, I just want to tell you one thing also. Um, shout out to my designer, Filipino designer. I'm not going to uh, say the name. That's uh, uh -uh. a secret. But I'm not... I, I have never seen such a beautiful gown in my entire life and it's connected with my story so that makes it more and more beautiful I can just tell you in bits and pieces um, that we've named our gown Pakistan's uh, gown the one the one the one and the reason why we kept it the one is because I'm the first ever Miss Universe Pakistan, Pakistan. also uh, one person minority Right? Yes. And we've kept the color white. I, I can tell you that. We can we kept the color white because in our flag the green represents the majority and the white part represents the minorities. Wow, I can't wait to see that on stage. So last question from a scale of one to ten, how ready are you to compete with the girls in the P group? Okay, let's be realistic, nine point five. Oh there you go guys, a nine point five expect for a performance from a show stopping performance yeah. from Miss Pakistan, Erica Robinson. On that note, thank you, thank you so thank so you. much. It's, thank it's you. a huge honor to get to see you again. Good luck on the upcoming, on the Thank prelims. You. I know you're going to slay it. All Thank right, you. guys. Thank you, Philippines. I love you all. Can't wait to see you again. Bye.